Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hala from Syria. I'm a ballet dance teacher, choreographer and performer and today I'm gonna teach you a very 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 fun hip step which is the Suhair Zaki step or the down on the step, hip down on the step. It's very pretty and it's very versatile and you can use it in many styles of belly dancing like rock sharky, oriental and uh, ballady and class classical whatever you like, okay? <laughs> okay, so now what I'm gonna teach you first is the stepping with hip work. So we learned the hip lifts and drops in my first video. I'm gonna link it up here for you if you haven't checked it out. This is the basic movement, all right? Then what when you learn to step, you automatically lift your hip on the step. So if I'm stepping on my right leg, I'm gonna push my right hip up. If I'm stepping on my left leg, I'm gonna push my left hip up. So it's kind of uh, the in, like intuitive, natural thing to do when you're dancing. But now what we're gonna do is the opposite. We're gonna drop the hip on the step. So how does that work? I'm gonna explain it. But I want you first to practice the hip lifts on the step because I want you to be comfortable in both movements, hip down on the step and hip up on the step because the hip up on a step becomes a choo-choo shimmy later and you would really want to learn that. It's very beautiful shimmy on the toes, all right? So I want you to step and lift your hip on the same leg you're stepping on. So step on the right, lift on the right, step on the le left, lift on the left. That's a hard thing to say. <laughs> step on the left, lift on the left. Right and left, right and left, lift, 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 lift. If it's hard for you, if you haven't learned the, uh, the hip lifts, the stationary ones, make sure to go to that first video first. All right, let me show you from the back. Lift and lift and lift and lift. Lift, 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 lift. Make sure you're not uh, elevating your feet off the floor. We want it flat, even though you're lifting it off, but you're not changing the level of your foot. It's lifting and dropping flat, all right? Also, your head is not moving. It's only your hips and knees that are moving. Sit from the side, okay? So it's the same thing as lifting stationary. The only difference is you're just lifting your foot and placing it down again. All right, now I want you to go on your toes. Try that challenge. Go on your toes and don't change the level of your feet. So if I decide to go this much, I stay this much. My knees are bent, they are gonna help me to lift my hips, okay? So lift, 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 up, up, up. Do it slowly if you can, do it quick. Slow, 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 slow. And one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Lift, 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 lift. All right, so after you get comfortable with this, now try the Suhair Zaki step. Suhair Zaki is an Egyptian dancer. Um, she uses this step a lot. If you go to her videos on YouTube, you'll see. She's always dropping, dropping. She does it softly, right? She doesn't add a lock. We talked about hip locks as well. Her hip lock makes it um, sharp, quick, and has an impact. But if you're just dropping with the same tempo from point A to point B, you're just going the same speed, the same softness, also looks good, right? If you add a hip lock, it just makes it sharper, good with a drum, okay? So now, how do we do this? I just want you to think about hip dropping. What is hip dropping? It's technically lifting me the opposite hip. So if I'm working on the right and I wanna say that I wanna drop my right, I have to lift my left, right? They work together. One hip cannot go down without the other going up and vice versa. So if my right one goes down, the left one will have to go up, right? So this is the mechanics of my hip, but I want to emphasize the down. Because if I just lift my right, okay, my left went down, great, but it's not so visible. I want that visibility. I want to tell my audience, I'm not doing a hip lift, I'm doing a hip drop. How do I tell them that? I just want to push my hips outside of my body axis a bit. You see here, you know, in hip lifts, I'm not exceeding this casing around my body. This is my, my border and I'm staying in my border. But in the hip drop 
on the hip that you're dropping, I want you to push to that direction. Push outside of your body, push. So it's like a slide, it's a mini slide. I also talked about the slide, I'm gonna link it up here, but it's not like a full slide outside, it's like a mini slide, tuck, down, down, just to showcase the dropped hip, okay? And make sure, very important, when you drop your hip and you slide it out, make sure not to change your knees, okay? I dropped it, this knee is bent more than my left knee, the one on the hip that dropped. Make sure not to elevate it again, okay? Because it's gonna lift your hip, you lost your entire movement, so you drop and you push it to the side you're dropping. Don't push it to the side you're lifting, it's gonna look very different. If you push it to the side you're lifting, then you drop it and you push it this way. It just looks like the Hagala or the three-quarter shimmy on the down, which is a move to come. I'm gonna teach you in the advanced section, but for now, just make sure you're pushing on the same side you are dropping. So drop on the right and push out to the right. Drop on the left and push out to the left, all right? Let's try it now just without stepping, just stationary. Drop on the right, drop on the left. Drop on the right, drop on the left. Right, left. You can add that lock, make it sharper. You're just um, using your glutes to add the lock, nothing special, glutes, and making it quick slow, quick slow, quick slow. Quick slow. So you start quick and you end the movement with a pause to emphasize the lock. All right, so that's the lock and the drop. Some people call it the lock down. Some people call it dropping the hips. You can call it what you like. <laughs> All right, so now let's try to add the steps, which is the challenging part because naturally we wanna step. We wanna step and do a hip lift, but now we're challenging our bodies to step and do a hip drop, okay? So that's where I want you to be relaxed, be patient with yourself, you know, take a sip of water, do it slowly, don't stress too much, okay? You'll get there, I promise. So step on the right, do you see how I'm prepping for it? My right hip is going up, prepping for the drop. My right leg is also hovering to go, so this is my prep position, drop. Now this is automatically up, it's ready to go down, down. So if you have your prep done right, you're good to go. And drop, drop, drop with a step, drop, drop. Don't forget the push. You need to slide it out a bit, slide it out to emphasize the drop, drop and drop, drop and drop. Now try to go on your toes if you can. Let's see, drop, drop, now you have a Suhair Zaki step, <laughs> drop and drop, drop and drop, 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 to the back, drop, 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 back to the front. All right, now I want to practice with you. Let's do it with the music. Let's do 16 of the steps on the up and steps on the down, also 16, because I want you to get comfortable with both. I don't want you to just practice the Suhair Zaki step. I want you to know the difference, feel the difference, make sure your body knows what you're doing, okay? So I'm gonna do 16 hip lifts on the steps and then 16 drops on the steps, slow. And then we're gonna speed it up, also 16, 16. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lift, lift. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, seven, eight. Okay, now we're gonna do drop 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop, drop. Five, six, seven, eight. And five, and six, and seven, and eight. Very good. Now let's do it quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now, again, quick on the down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now, let's try this. 
circle around yourself with hip lifts. Then go with hip drops. Eight, slow tempo. But I want you to switch immediately between them, okay? There's no pause. Switch and turn quickly, okay? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And drop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And drop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Five, six, seven, eight, drop. Five, six, seven, eight. Great job. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell because I have more videos coming every Tuesday and Friday in English for you guys. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.